So you want to know about healthy carbs, right? You hear so many bad things. Carbs are bad for you. Carbs are bad for you. But are all carbs bad for you? Are just some carbs bad for you? And how do you really know? In this video, I am going to decipher for you a good carb versus a bad carb. So you can use that as you're shopping in the grocery store. It's going to be quick, easy, tangible things for you to look at to know if it's good or bad. So without further ado, my name is Leslie Urbis. I'm a registered dietitian and a personal trainer, and I'm here to help you today learn a little bit more about carbohydrates. If you like this video, please click subscribe and tell all your friends and family and share this video with others. Outside of that, let me start on what makes a good carb or a bad carb. So number one thing that I want you to think about is one, what is a carb? So let's establish that. A carbohydrate is something that has sugar in it. All carbs are sugar. I know that may sound weird, but all carbohydrates break down into sugar. That's the simplest way to put it. So now that we know that, what foods are carbs? Basically, all grains are carbs. Now when I say grains, I could say starches, breads, rice, pastas, crackers, cakes, cookies, candies. All of those things would fall under what a carb is. All fruits are carbohydrates, and believe it or not, all vegetables are carbohydrates. Those are the main carbohydrates. Now, milk is a carb, but milk is such a wide variety of everything right now that we're not going to discuss that today. Milk will be featured in a later video. So remember, if you click that subscribe, you'll get notified when that milk video comes out if that's a pertinent question in your mind. So, Continuing on with the carbohydrates. Now that you know what foods are carbohydrates, what makes one good, what makes one bad? I'm gonna talk to you at first from an angle of what's processed and what's not. So my orange, which is a carb or a fruit, and my potatoes, which is a carb or a vegetable technically, are good whole types of carbs. Now why? I didn't do anything to this orange. This orange is still in its peel. It's gonna be unpeeled by me, me and then I'm gonna eat it. So nothing was really done. Now, I'm not getting into genetically modified right now. I'm just discussing that I didn't do anything to this. I didn't flush sugar into it. I didn't process it to make it into an orange loaf or something. It is literally just an orange. So it's healthy for you, okay? Same with my potatoes. They probably washed these a couple of times. Yeah, fast press, triple wash, no peeling. Okay, that's all they did, okay? They didn't put in a bunch of butter and milk to make mashed potatoes. It's just regular whole potatoes. So when you have the whole item, it's one, not very processed, and two, very good for you because it doesn't have all of those other things that we could put into it that modify the product, okay? So fruits and vegetables are always great. Now, I know when I say that, I knock out a couple of diets like the keto diet, because the keto diet wouldn't allow you to have either one of those foods. Again, as a dietitian, I don't really promote the keto diet because it's just not sustainable for life. It's something that you may not get the results that you're looking for because you will again want to eat those carbohydrates, okay? So those are good types of carbs. Now, when you get into the processed type of carbs, like candies, cakes, cookies, rice, pastas, breads, that gets to be so crazy because it's like, what's good, what's bad, do I have to make it myself, I don't have time to make pasta from scratch, can I not eat a cookie, and your brain just goes haywire. It's like, where do I decide where to go, okay? So what I want you to start thinking about is to determine if it's good or bad, there's a couple of things to look at. We've discussed this before, but the number one thing is when you're looking at your label, you want the first ingredient to say something whole. Whole grain, whole wheat, whole rye, whole barley, whole oats, whole corn, whole whatever. If it says the word whole, that means that they took the entire grain and broke it into pieces and then shoved it into your product, okay? But when, I'm using my Oreos, the first ingredient says unbleached, enriched flour, what you're really saying is instead of taking the whole orange, we extracted everything that was really good in this orange and we just put in the junk and we gave it to you, okay? So that's really what your focus is. This, your long grain rice, 
is a complex carb. So I want you to think of a complex carb like the top of a tree, okay? The entire top of a tree. There's millions of branches and millions of leaves, etc. Now, if we wanted to cut down that tree, if you've ever watched a tree cutter, they can't just cut off at the stump, right? They go to the top and they break it down bit by bit by bit. So they're taking a piece, 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 taking a piece. Taking a piece. That's what your digestion has to do. It has to take a piece and take a piece and take a piece and take a piece, okay? So that's gonna help you in terms of that, all right? Then, if it's an enriched grain, it literally is just like the twig where I could break it in half and it's over, okay? So that's really the main difference between a good and a bad carbohydrate. And I want you to know those things as you're looking through the grocery store, all right? I hope that explains to you kind of what a good carb versus a bad carb is and what carbs are. So remember, all fruits, all vegetables, all grains, candies, cakes, stuff like that are examples of carbohydrates. And then there's your good and the bad. And you're looking for the whole form, you're not looking for the processed enriched form. So if you got something out of this video, comment below, tell me what you got out of it. If you're looking for more help so that way you can design a carbohydrate diet that works for you, that you can still eat carbs, still lose weight, still be able to maintain your overall health, I would love to help you personally do that. Below is a link that you can click on that will take you to my website where you can send me your email and we can set up a free assessment to get you started on your way to making a diet and lifestyle change that works for you, gives you results, and doesn't take away all the foods you love. So if you enjoyed, again, please click on that link, click subscribe, share with your friends and family. I'd love to hear any feedback that you have. Enjoy and happy